Our first guest tonight is one of the finest actors of our and any generation. She's nominated for yet another Oscar for her performance as the fictional composer-conductor Lydia Tarr in the movie Tarr. It's in select theaters and on Peacock. Now, please welcome Kate Blanchett. <laughs> Yeah, sorry about that. No, it's great. That's a real, real pick-me-up. Oh, thank you. <laughs> After 26 years of marriage, you guys say, yo, baby. Yeah, yeah. It looks like your stylist works for South Park. No. <laughs> he's, he, he's from Mexico. Well, you know what's going on, Kate, is that is well, those are what, that's what the backup dancers for Rihanna wore at the Super Bowl yesterday. I, 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 look, I've worked with Rihanna. I, you know, I've acted opposite Rihanna. I've had the big joy, but yeah. Did they ask you whether you were pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> He's in bed. <laughs> Come on, yeah, I just did. Uh, I love you. All right. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Together, you look like a marshmallow peep. <laughs> <laughs> so you did not watch the Super Bowl yesterday. I know you're from Australia, so it would make sense that you would not have look, interest. To be honest, it's it's a gladiatorial sport. Where I come from, we have a football that's we call it football. It's Aussie rules. Where footy, it's, you call footy, it, right? Yeah, footy, yeah. and they. They basically, it's this. They have a similar kind of ball, except they don't have the protection. Any, they don't even have sleeves, right? They were wearing... <laughs> they, yeah, they, they were shorts and really, yeah, little tank tops. And my, my uncle used to play professionally for Essendon. Oh, he did? Wow. Yeah, and my cousin played in Tasmania where they, it's so hardcore that they play on gravel. Is that true? Yeah, so, I mean, the Super Bowl, it's like, you know, they take a few hits, but you go to Tasmania and they play real fun. On gravel? <laughs> on gravel, yeah. That's not kidding around at no, all. No, it's yeah, not. Yeah, I know a lot of They that... lose a lot of players, but, you know... They're, in they're, some they're, ways... That's why the population's really small. <laughs> in, a, in a lot of ways, I think Australia... We, as Americans, see Australia the way everyone else sees Americans, as, like, a little bit screw loose and really flirting with danger at all times. Yes, that is what we think. What, I mean, why did you go cross-eyed when you did that? <laughs> just and how you're I was looking born. at me. <laughs> <laughs> but really, though, they're out there. They have no helmets on. They're killing each other in the same way. They're I know. kicking the ball. They're totally exposed. I know. And then the hole in the ozone layer is right over Australia. So it's a really, it's really, it's a very, very difficult game. And they're game. kicking those footies right through it. So that yeah. was nothing last night, Patrick. Congratulations, by the way. You're nominated for, well, the Super Bowl of acting, I guess. Is what they <laughs> I don't know if you're a gambling per Are you a gambler at all? Do you ever bet? Should I be? Well, you are the favorite. You're the solid favorite oh, to hey. win, according I mean, to Las Vegas, you know? <laughs> right. Oh, well, yes, of course then, right. Yeah. No, no, but it's been, it's been such an amazing year for Don't try to dodge the fact that you're the favorite. Dodging. I mean, you're the favorite. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> well, that's so says my mom. <laughs> your mom, yeah. yeah. Would your mom bet on you? Like, would she go so far well, as to get on a or gamble? Or sell me, or... <laughs> like, three beans, Mark. No, um... Would she bet on me? Yeah. I don't know. I haven't asked her. Oh, well, it seems like if you, if you can't get your mom to bet on you, then, well, you know, yeah, I mean, you're really yeah. not getting the support you need from the yeah. family. You, um, uh, how do you know, when you find out, I think this is what, your eighth Oscar nomination? I think so. I, yeah. Do you just oh, assume yeah. you're nominated or? <laughs> <laughs> Even if I haven't made a movie? No, no, it was really, it's, it's, in, it's amazing. Where you know? were you when they told you that you'd received the nomination? Um, I was actually on set with um, a sound recorder so I'd worked with on a film, David Fincher film called Benjamin Button, um, Mark Weingarten, who got, was nominated, and Jamie Lee Curtis, who was nominated, were all working together. Oh, wow, you yeah. were all together at the same time? Yeah, which is fabulous. And then they brought out Sheet Cake, which I think in your country, that's, the, that's a really big mark It's the highest honor like, is Sheet Cake. <laughs> We got a big thing of sheet cake, one each. Is sheet cake not a thing, huh? No. No, really? Yeah. No, no, we don't eat sheet cake for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, I mean, the first time I came to America, um, I, I had a Twinkie for breakfast, and I just thought that's what you, what you ate all the time. <laughs> Is it not? Uh, no. Is it? <laughs> well, I, I don't know. I, though I did see the snacks. You've got a big snack selection back there. Well, we have to keep Guillermo happy, you know? <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah. 
For this movie, you uh, you play a conductor, I composer, um, and you're fan fantastic in it, as you are really in everything. And I know oh, it sounds I said, like... I said that here. Yeah. yeah. It's, no, it's not. <laughs> but um, you had to learn a few things, as typically one would have to My do. My lines. Your lines. I had a lot of lines. For yeah. sure. Uh, you had to learn to play the piano, is that... True? Well, I, I, I studied, studied piano as a girl. Okay, so I mean, you... Each pregnancy, I've got four kids. I thought, I'm going to pick the piano up again. And the sad thing about me is I don't actually do anything until a role insists I have to do it. And, um, and then I had to learn to conduct, which was terrifying. To learn to conduct. Is that really so hard, though? I mean, I feel like I got it right here. Like, <laughs> right? <laughs> Yeah, Maybe. I don't know. What, what do you think? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah it's is that bit, not that good? It's mean... sloppy. <laughs> is it yeah. hard to conduct? It, it's a little bit like doing that. Like, you're, oh. you're, the right hand sort of keeps, traditionally keeps the time, and this one gives the emotion and the feeling. And, but it's a, it's a form of communication. And, of course, your instrument is human. You can't, as a conductor, your instrument is made up of, when you play the big works, like 80 to 90 orchestral members. So it's... It's a complicated job, and it was absolutely terrifying. We, we filmed with the Dresden Philharmonic Orchestra, and standing up in front of them on the first day and giving the downbeat when we were conducting Mahler's Fifth Symphony was an unforgettable experience. Did you ask them afterwards, how did I do? How did I do? Yeah. Um, well, we recorded um, an, an yeah, album. I have this album right here. I know, right I here. can't believe I'm on Deutsche Grammophon. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I mean, so you, can get a, <laughs> you can wind up with a Grammy for this, too. Yeah, I mean, Hilda, it's a, it's a concept album because the, the film is, it's about the process of making something. So it's a, I'm on there, you know, in the process of, re, you know, rehearsing the music with the orchestra and Hilda Grunadottir, who has a, um, a contract with um, Deutsche Grammophon. We know. We... She was doing the score. She did the score <laughs> for Joker. You know, she's an amazing, and she did Women Talking as well. She's an amazing, amazing composer. You um, learned also, well, did you learn to play the accordion or did you not? Well, well it depends on which way you look at it. Todd threw a lot of things Todd at me. Field, the Todd director. Field, who directed and it, you know, I'd always know it was bad news when he'd come up to me and say, here's the thing. You know, we either have, we have to shoot this 10 minute scene in one shot. And then one day we just finished towards the end of the day, he came up and said, the accordion teacher's here. Okay, what the, and he said, yeah, so you, you've been practicing, right? I said, no, I've never held an accordion. He said, you'll be fine. Just go and spend half an hour with her. And then he asked me to come out and play the accordion. <laughs> so it was a little bit of a... Did he the just... The scene was a little bit of a... Like, you play the accordion, dog. <laughs> um, we have a scene uh, here from the movie in which you are... Um, you, Practicing your accordion and well, it's because the the it, the character is about to summit the the peak of her career. She's you know about to record all of the final piece of the puzzle, Mahler's Fifth Symphony with the same orchestra. She's you know the conductor of the world, one of the world's greatest orchestras, and, she, and then she has a her past catches up with and her. And <laughs> she has a mental collapse, which yeah. culminates in her playing. Making, she's been making beautiful sounds her entire life, and then... And then the neighbors show up. And then the neighbors show up, yeah. My husband and I are selling the place and couldn't help hearing the music. Oh. I'm glad you enjoyed it. We were wondering if there are specific hours you rehearse so we can schedule showings around them. We don't want to scare potential buyers off with all the noise. No, 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 <laughs> no, we wouldn't want that. <laughs> Apartment for sale! Apartment for sale! Funny, out of context. <laughs> It's great to have you here. The movie is called Tar. It's, uh, it's an Oscar nominee. Kate Blanchett is also an Oscar nominee. I, I look forward to seeing you there. And I'm going to tell you something. I know this will give you an advantage, but we're playing the Oscars on gravel this year, so. Uh, tar. I'll be there. I'll see you <laughs> Select theaters. And on Peacock now, we'll be back with Patrick Mahomes. Ta -da -da.